All right, folks, this is like the fourth time I'm trying to record this video, but my dog keeps going nuts in the background and making it difficult to do this. So let's try it again. We are going to try to use the auto masking feature in Swarm. So the first thing I'm going to do is I already loaded up my image here. I preloaded my model. I've got my settings pretty much preset to where I want them as far as my steps are, CFG. This is Flux. I'm using a hyper model, so it's only eight steps. So don't let this confuse you. It's because of the particular model that I'm using for Flux. All right, so what we want to do after we drop our model onto the workspace, let's click Edit Image. Once we do that, we're going to go here to this Options tab where the three dots are. Click on that, and then the Auto Segment Image, SAM2. Now, if you have not used this before, it's going to prompt you to install that. So go ahead and install it, click OK, let it load the model. It's going to download it automatically, do everything it needs to do, and then it's going to restart the backend in Swarm. Once it restarts, you're going to have to click this again and click Auto Segment Image to go ahead and activate it. So give it a second because it takes a minute after the first time that you use it for it to load. Once it loads, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be a bunch of different colors. You're going to have another layer here called Image. Click off of that layer onto the mask. Once you're on the mask, go over to your toolbar here on the left side, click on Paint Bucket. Use the paint bucket to mask out the area that you want to change. For this instance, we're going to change the background. So one click, because this basically has no background, basically masked it all out. Now once we have it masked, this is important, you need to go back to your image layer, right click on it, and turn the opacity down to zero. That's important, you have to do that. Make sure you click back on the mask layer, and then type in the prompt what you want. I'm just gonna say a busy city street corner, okay? Once we have that, we'll click generate. I'm gonna generate two images here. Sometimes it takes more than one, more than two to get it right. The other thing to note while we're doing that is make sure you have your image creativity at one. If you do not have it at one, you're not really going to get anything out of it. Okay, after a few tries, we've got a decent image here. Now this guy looks pretty good, but our second image that we got that came up, not very good. I mean, depending on what you're going for, I mean, that does look kind of cool. But let me mention something here that you might notice on some of your images, there's a white halo, very slight white halo around our character. You can notice it more on this guy because of the dark background here. But on the other one, you don't really notice it because it kind of blends in with the background, a little bit in his hair here. What you want to do to adjust that, by default, this mask row is set at zero. So I like to set it at about eight, and what that means is the mask is going to get bigger by eight pixels. That number means pixels. So if we go back to our image here, our original segmentation for an example, this black outline here is basically going to retain the old background. All right, so when we enable mask row, we are going to make that eight pixels bigger. So roughly, you know, eight pixels from the outside of this mask in, it's going to make it bigger. So the larger you make this number, the more it's going to grow. Here's some info here on the tooltip. Okay, so you can make it bigger and you can try it again, whatever you want. But that's what that uh, mask row does. And, and that's what you want to do to try to get rid of that little outline. Again, it's not very present on this image. But on the other image, you did notice it a little bit around the hands here. Didn't really get too much here. But it's it's not too bad depending on what the background is or whatever it is that you're trying to mask out. So you're just going to have to play with those settings. Uh, if you want more help or you need more help, you can drop a question down below in the comments or swing by the Swarm Discord server. I'll leave the link for that down below. There's a lot of useful, a lot of helpful people in there. Yes, useful also, but a lot of helpful people there that can help answer questions. All right. Take care. Have a good one. We'll catch you on the next video. See ya.